Previously, on the chiseling of the unchiseled Adonis, we would see our hero step into the gym for the very first time in a very long time and plant the seed for what would grow into a magnificent tree of his fitness journey. He would endure a grueling workout, whether that was 20 minutes on the treadmill, doing a circuit of exercises with the battle ropes, whether it was utilizing the medicine ball, or doing another circuit of abdominals. He never once transmogrified into a 13-year-old boy losing in an online video game. He would not rage quit. He would show perseverance, stick to itiveness, and sheer determination to turn his life around. Painful as hell. Knackered, frazzled, jiggered, bushwhacked, debilitated, innervated, fatigued, void of breath, an exhausted, unchiseled Adonis would lay in defeat after a pulp for two in this day one workout. But would he build on this momentum and keep the train rolling or would he fall victim to his old ways? Find out today on episode three of the chiseling of the unchiseled Adonis. when you go outward. Yeah. Yeah, so when it turns this way. Ah! Yeah. This song, this here side. Oh my God. Oh yeah. Oh my God. Wow. Yeah. Whoa, shit. Wow, you got the camera off. Wow, I can't. This is being recorded, isn't it? Yeah. Hey. Take That's the cool. goddamn hat off, man. You know what? Here, here, you lean towards me, and then I'll back up. All right? Uh -huh. One, two, three. Lift. All right. All right. Take this. You can still utilize. You don't gotta be so goddamn dramatic, though. I'm not trying to be dramatic. It's starting to sweat. You can use your upper body. Just I am using my upper body. Lower joint is messed up. You need your lower joint when you top heavy. When you top heavy? Yeah. Well, whose fault is that? Huh? It's my fault. Exactly. I understand that. I'm going down. You're not going down. I, I'm going down. How are you going I, I, down? I, I, wait, 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 wait. Yo, I'm getting all the weight on my right foot. My foot is my, my, my right foot. I don't, like, I don't like the position of this. Yo, turn your knee. Yo, I'm trying. My, yeah, I'm going down. How are you going down? My right foot, I'm going down. So what are you talking about? I'm getting my, all the weight on my right foot. You're not even in the angle where you, your both butt cheeks will hit the bottom seat. <laughs> You can't, yo, hold on, let me steer you real quick. Turn, turn, turn. Steer. I'm steering you. Turn, turn around, turn around. All right. Ah! What you screaming for? What, did I grab too much of the flap? All right, you're going backwards now. Back, back. Ah. Wait, okay, I'm good. you good now? You sure? Um, no, you're turning back towards where only one butt cheek will land on the stair. You where's got... this cane? All right, wait, hold on, let me get the cane. Get... You're really enjoying this. This is what goes on in reality TV, but I'm a one person show. Oh my god. Not Put your ah! hand on the grip. Yo, this is not good at all. Put this your hand on the grip. My hand's on the grip. You bro. lean on the front, dog. You're joining fixing the snap. Now what? what? You're, oh, I'm going down in multiple directions. I, I think with crutches, you have two to balance yourself. Yeah, you're going to miss. And then now you fly off. <laughs> 
I bumped into it. My bad, my bad. Oh, Yo, I got you, I got you. Why are you doing me dirty, son? Nah, I, nah, Yo, this I is can't. not a laughing matter. Nah, I'm not even a laughing matter. It's not even a laughing matter. Yo, nah. man, you almost split the damn goddamn cage. I'm not even joking I, right now. I'm kidding. I'm not trying to split in the middle over here. Well, like, you could. That's not going to be the right way. Usually they do a split, you're going to be splitting a bone. Right when everything's supposed to go down, take two steps forward. And I want to move, but I can't because of my ankle. Uh, I, I can't use a cane. I haven't a clue how to use a cane. Bro, I have a better chance using crutches than just going like that. You, you have those down? We have those down? We still got those. Yo, this is unfair, bro. I want to break something, son. Like, for real. Like, this doesn't make any sense. This is not fair. Like, it two steps forward. Finally set up a plan, like, yo, I'm gonna actually work out to change this shit up. And then all of a sudden, the first day I decide, yo, let's go home. Now it makes me wonder if I should have just said, I'll meet you as she said if I would even ran into this. Something told me to go home early. Don't stay, go home early. But I need the money. I need the money. Ah! Oh my gosh. We don't got crutches no more. Uh, to check the basement. They should be in the basement. We had two of them. They were the metal ones. Yeah, but Dad threw some of them away. He threw the wooden ones away. No, no, no. The wooden ones was years ago. Yeah. The metal ones, there was two pairs, but I don't know if it's still... Oh, okay. You might be in luck. I see... I see two here. Damn. This shit's under everything. What you talking about? Dude, this is like playing a uh, Jenga. Put your buttocks down. Put your buttocks. It's right here. It's right Give here. me the chair so I can feel it. Nah, it's right here. It's right here. Alright. Here's a phone, keep yourself occupied. I literally watched what I ate today, did all of that just to prepare for this. I ate less than I usually do. That's right, dirty. Yeah, it is dirty, but it's what you got, buddy. My man, I put it in your in pocket for you. got a ledge. I put it in my pocket to pick it out. One, two, three. You're not gonna be able to do it, bro. You gotta put your pressure there, that's how I spot Hold this, hold this. Dog, where are you gripping this? Yeah. I don't think you've given that any thoughts, huh? I didn't give it no thoughts. You trying to fall down. I didn't give it Because no the minute you go, that stool fixing to fly either through the television or through this here wall. Yo, you are enjoying this? Or I'm really not. Because I'm really upset right now. You should be. Want to put the stool over there? See, you see why I told you? You don't know how to freaking put this we're good, joint. We good, we good. Dang, these joints is mad high, son. I don't know, you short, so what you expect people to do? Can't lower this or something? Okay, you want to talk to Jude? Yeah. Yeah, Jude, you can say hello. Hello? Yeah, what happened? I was walking down the stairs from by the train station, and then I felt the pain in my left foot, and now I can't walk. I have ice on my foot right now. Yeah, I put ice on his foot. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Okay. okay bye. Yeah, see you later. Okay, bye. Bye. This is not fair. this situation it felt like somebody literally grabbed on um, like the, the back of a knife yeah and just poked me one time mm. in my well, when you walked down the stairs because you said now I got to the foot like, step feet, bro your feet naturally like out. yeah they leave so out so did you feel oh, like when you step no a step? no mm. I literally got to the fourth step right off the 
train and you know it's a long walk down. Yeah. I literally got to the fourth step down and I'm like, I'm right to the fourth step to get down. I'm like, ah, what the hell? And there's people behind me. I can't just stop. So I try to walk on it. Couldn't walk. I'm literally dragging my foot like, ah, ah, ah. And then I got to right to where I got through the, the whole pathway and I got right to that steps. It was a wrap. I got right down there through the doors. I had to drag my foot. I had to drag my foot, bro. I was literally leaning like this, and people already left. There's a bus outside that's around the corner. You know how they, they have the long ass line. Yeah. I couldn't even get to the damn turnstile. I'm right by the door. I'm still dragging my foot. That's when I texted you. I was like, yo, what the hell? So today was supposed to be day two, but unfortunately we couldn't get it going because the unchiseled Adonis suffered an injury to his ankle. We're gonna monitor it moving forward, but uh, hopefully we can get to day three. If not, you know, we're gonna have to record his uh, recovery process and see where he goes from there. So you can see the R&R and &R in his treatment and his recovery to be able to get back to starting, you know, the chiseling of the unchiseled Adonis. So that's pretty much it for day two. Two days later. Much more mobility than yesterday, right? This shit is hot, bro. Why is it so hot? I thought it's supposed to be a warm compress, not a hot compress. My feet keep sliding out of this shit. One week later. Well, you went to the doctor. So my hand is inflamed. I also went to go take an x-ray as a second opinion. And the x-ray shows that I don't break any bones. And they were asking me if my hand was broken, but then they all said it was an edema. So the doctor said it was tendonitis. But I was still feeling pain in my feet and my hand still not so much, but now it's like at my wrist. And I went to a foot doctor. The foot doctor checked my feet and was saying that my sensory is still there. I still have some, like the numbness is coming possibly from my nerve. They did a test using a vibration tool and I have a delayed reaction. So my nerve receptors or whatever they like to call it, the neurons are not passing. There's a delay down by my feet. And I found out that I have disc bulges in my back. I have four of them. There's a possibility that my the disc bulges in my back could be affecting my, my a nerve that's causing me to have like numbness and everything in my feet. At first I thought it was like diabetes or something like that. And like the symptoms were showing it, but I did four different blood tests and I'm not diabetic. I was also suggested by the foot doctor to um, slow down completely until I get my diagnosis from the neurologist. To be honest, I did not see this happening this to start off the year. But it's like my feet feel numb completely. Doctor said for me to come back and see him in a, in a month for my feet. Um, and he said for me to go also to see the neurologist, set up an appointment for next week and see what they say. 
it's crazy because we actually shot like the first the first episode and a half we were planning to continue off of that and we couldn't because I I really couldn't even go and it was like kind of weird how that just happened after I made this decision to do this I would just say if anything y'all can keep rooting for me it appears that evidently the unchiseled Adonis will be off of his feet for at least a month until we hear back from the doctors, get some test results, and actually see any sort of progression with the R&R &R in his body. He's got some injuries to his hands, injuries to his back, injuries to his ankle. All right, now it's only been a week since we started this entire workout, so it kind of sucks, but I'm optimistic that he'll be able to bounce back. All right, the summer is vastly approaching, and because the heat's gonna be outside, it's gonna be hot, there's a ton of different workouts that we can get done a lot of mobility can be used. You can't use the cold weather as a weather. You can't use the cold weather as an excuse. So if you're gonna utilize the hot weather soon, momentarily, we will be back with the chiseling of the unchiseled Adonis. I'm optimistic he'll get it done. Why? Because he's the damn brother of the diligent, vigilant, meticulous, sagacious, conscientious, analytical, methodical individual thief, chiseled Adonis. And last I checked in my damn bloodline, we ain't got no cowards, no slouches, none of that loser mentality, all right? We go out and we go and get it. Chiseling of the unchiseled Adonis will return, goddammit, momentarily. Minor setback for a major comeback. The roasting session started. He's like, look at this big ass walrus. A leg there looking like a bitch. I mean, hey, you said it. First off, your feet stink. And you here so you can. Even with that, what? the pressure's still there. Why are your hands so ashy? I don't know. It doesn't. Again, I don't. Why my feet so ashy? Hold it. Hold yourself up here. Let me see if I can. Um, if I wanted to. Uh, see, the pressure's still there. If you can't put no pressure on your left ankle, how you gonna lead it with your left? I'm going down. You're not going down. I, I'm going down. You can't lead it with your left. No. And you can't lead it with your right. Because if if. Because if I lead with my right, I'm putting pressure on my all left. Pressure and then. That, See? Yeah, that don't make no it sense. It don't make no sense. Well, I, I, I can't use a cane. I'm having a clue how to use a cane. Bro. <laughs> Who's looking like the dumbass now? It's right here. It's right here. All right. You, you on there? Uh, bro, I'm on the seat. Okay. And it's, it's ironic because my coworker named Eli mm -hmm. literally cracked his ankle today. Like, I didn't even know you can possibly do that. The dude was like, yo, here, look. And it's like, with his ankle. One. Two, three. Oh my God, okay. wrong foot. So he cracks his ankle for recreational purposes. He, he cracks every bone in his body. He really won't buy his idea. Like, take a look. Cracked his neck. Cracked his, he popped his fingers out of place. One, two, three. You're not gonna be able to do it, bro. You like he, he literally snapped them and was going like this. And they were literally looking like, like freaking mini, mini Vienna sausages just rolling around. And he popped them right back. Yo, you are enjoying this? Oh, I'm really not. Put my foot in hot water. That's not. That doesn't explain why I can't walk on my leg, though. But okay. Oh snap, you got your YouTube plaque. What? You got your YouTube plaque. What do you mean? Is that not your YouTube plaque? No. So what is that? Oh, that's a YouTube plaque. A... Ah! Any other questions? Next time on the chiseling of the unchiseled Adonis, spring has passed. Summer has come and gone with the fall approaching. What has been the fate of the unchiseled Adonis? Has he succumbed to his injuries? Has he committed to the commitment of consistency in the gym? Has he recruited a new coital appointment? Or is it the same story of sad excuses preventing him from turning his life around? Find out next week as we travel to the present day on another exciting episode of The Chiseling of the Unchiseled Adonis.